So ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adam Edlin with Goldenrod Renewables. We are a funder of renewable energy projects all over Kentucky. And we're very proud to be partners with Jamie Clark and Synergy Home Solutions. And what we are celebrating today is not just an outstanding entrepreneur who's helping drive innovation in our local economy. We're here to celebrate that Lexington, Kentucky is a place that is innovative, modern, and has political leadership and entrepreneurs who intend to make us modern and progressive and confident of our future rather than fearful of it. So let's give Jamie a big round of applause to start. You know, it takes a lot, folks. It takes a lot of courage to decide that you're going to get into the energy business in Kentucky. It takes a lot of courage and maybe even a little craziness to get into the renewable energy business in Kentucky. But folks, what Jamie Clark has done is he has bet on the future of this state. He has assembled a team that is doing big, important things, offering people in this community and surrounding the opportunity to be part of the energy of the future. And that's very exciting. The opportunity to celebrate a business expanding, the opportunity to celebrate an innovative business expanding, creating jobs that cannot be outsourced, is a very big important thing and it says a lot about the character of Jamie and his family. It says a lot about a man who believes that he can do well by betting big on the future. That's something that we can all be proud of. But before we talk about Jamie Clark, the man of the hour, you know our elected leaders have a lot to do with setting a tone in our community folks and that's really important. I want to acknowledge that we are uh, we are joined by Council Member Stennett, Mays, and Angela Evans, give them a round of applause. And there are a lot of entrepreneurs who aren't ready to make the leap when our political leadership isn't innovative. And one of the things that I have been so proud to support our mayor, Jim Gray, is that he has relentlessly encouraged Lexington into the future. And when we talk about the economic development imprint of our mayor, I think it's pretty extraordinary that he has been talking about creating these kind of jobs. So, ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Lexington, Jim Gray. Thank you. Adam, hey, thanks a bunch. It is, um, well, big welcome to Synergy Homes. Let's give another hand to Jamie and the whole family, Clark, Alexandria. And, you know, I learned being in business more years than I'd like to remember now in a, that um, all of this happens because of great leadership, yes, and great employees. And a lot of you guys are standing right back there in the back. Let's give them a hand. Hey! Thanks, guys. Uh, this is another step forward, too in the Delaware Triangle, right here where we've got a lot of innovation, a lot of good things happening. And this week has been big for Lexington. Just this morning, a tech firm announced an expansion. Tomorrow, a pharmaceutical company here in Lexington, Lexington is announcing an expansion. A lot going on. And just on Monday, we announced an unprecedented agreement with the University of Kentucky. I've been in the business of recruiting manufacturing plants all my life. Uh, in Kentucky alone, more than 800. And I have never seen, ever, a more generous proposal by an institution than what we saw with the University of Kentucky offering 250 acres to Lexington for manufacturing and business expansion. And what that means, you all, what that means is I compare it to the last 20 years. We had 100 acres out on Georgetown Road, the business park, 100 acres. And we built that out with more than 25 companies over the last 20 years, 100 acres, and almost 2,000 jobs there today. 250 acres gives us the chance to be in business and compete for new jobs up to 5,000 new jobs and acreage. And I see some of you guys out back there shaking your heads, and I appreciate that because you know what that means. That means opportunity for a lot of people. A lot of opportunity for a lot of people. We're really, and I want to, I just want to acknowledge we had several of our council members behind this. I want to uh, express appreciation to them for their support for the project. We've still got a long ways to go, 
But this represents something that I've not seen in my lifetime, where a university and a city work together cooperatively to create opportunities. And that's what a university city is all about. We had a conference here just two weeks ago to celebrate the uniqueness of Lexington among seven cities in the country, a university city, and what all that then represents in terms of, yes, new opportunities, not just for kids, not just for students and faculty at the university, but for those who are looking for jobs all across our city. The university is a big, big influence in that. So all of these investments are paying off, but when I stand here today, and Adam said it well, when I stand here today and I look at a company like Jamie has created, one that is going to provide jobs that, yes, can't be outsourced, can't be sent to another country. These are jobs that can be working right here at home. That's a very big deal. Coming from an entrepreneurial background myself, building a business that went once, seven years after my father died, we were insolvent and flat on our backs. But with the help of family and friends, we recovered. A lot of you all have been through adversity. The human spirit triumphs in adversity during times of adversity. It does not fail us. And that's what a company like this represents. And it's, I am so proud to be with you all here as you are opening up this new facility. Thank you all very much. It's great. Thanks very much. So I like Jamie a lot, and I'm going to guess that everybody here, not just because he lets me talk, although I really appreciate it like I need a congregation, um, Jamie is a risk taker, and he is a dreamer of big dreams, and that is precisely what we need in this community. And my guess is that this many people here, in a time and a place where the rain determines how many folks will show up at your funeral, you ought to feel really good about this, Jamie. But he's a risk taker. I remember when he called me and he said, Adam, I think it would be neat to make the Catholic Action Center here in Lexington the first homeless shelter in the United States to go solar without a public subsidy. And I said, man, that is crazy. And he said, I know it's crazy, but it's precisely why we ought to do it. And he and I worked together with the good folks at the Catholic Action Center. And now, folks, it is the first homeless shelter in the United States to be completely solar, folks. That is innovation. That is a very big deal. You know. This isn't a man of promise, folks. This is a man who has delivered. This isn't a guy who just gives speeches. This is a guy who has a track record. And the fact that he is able to build on what he has done to the point that he is expanding right here in this part of Lexington says a whole lot about who he is and what his plans are for the community. And folks, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to watch Jamie Clark over the next several years. Folks, the man of the hour, a great entrepreneur, Jamie Clark. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. That's all I got to say. I, uh, you know, we thought we'd get 25 or 30 people. It looks like there's about 125 people here. So I am, uh, I'm really humbled that everybody would come out to support us on this chilly November morning. At least there's no rain, you know. Um, th this has been an interesting uh, opportunity for us because um, two months ago, uh, Mike Warner and his partner, Dwayne Kohler, approached me about uh, co-leasing this building. And to be honest, it was not a very good time for us. We were in the middle of our busy season and trying to move. Um, you know, my office manager, Cindy, she said, well, what are you doing? And I said, but this, this building on Winchester Road is almost iconic. You know, this corridor through here, it's really turning. The Delaware Triangle, my, my good friend John Hampton, they just bought the building across the street and they're putting serious capital over there. Uh, big ass fans just sold this building to Bella Bliss. I hear it's gonna be a high-end retail uh, shop. So the Delaware Triangle is, is really turning and with National Avenue right down the street, you know, Winchester Road is open for business and, and I want my business to be a part of that. So, um, you know, it's, it's hard to believe that uh, just two short years ago, we started this with uh, me, David Cheek and Chris Baxter with one truck out of my basement. And uh, now we've got almost 25 employees and 17 vehicles in our fleet. So uh, we've had a crazy year. Um, thanks to our spokesmodel, the lovely Whitney panel. She has, uh, um, we're still trying to get her in the skydiving video, so we'll be watching for that coming soon, you know. Uh, but now we, uh, we, we are really grateful to so many people here. Uh, none more than my lovely wife, Haley, and my daughter, Alexandra. Hey. So, and uh, 
we're very appreciative of all of our employees and, and their families. You know, um, I've worked many nights and weekends, but so have a lot of my guys, and I recognize their family's sacrifice when they're not there. So it's, it's very important that we, we thank the employees and their families, too. We couldn't be here without you guys. So, so it's been a very exciting two years, but uh, a, uh, we're just getting started. We are unveiling this uh, R2-D2 Darth Vader looking unit over here. This is the first solar powered air conditioning system on the market. Uh, we'll be able to convert people to solar energy with a new air conditioner, a backup emergency power generator. So if your power goes out, you'll never lose power. You're gonna reduce your home's utility bills by about 70% and there's a 30% federal tax credit on the whole package. So not only can I bring you into the 21st century, we can do it, and the government's gonna pay for almost half of it. So, so we are the exclusive distributor for this in the state of Kentucky right now. It's a very exciting opportunity. Um, we've got two of them in in the local market, and um, we'll probably be putting two of those a month in over the next six or eight months. We're very excited about it. Uh, and that's not all. Uh, you know, we've got a, a five-year growth plan. I, I expect you'll see us with a Louisville location in the next three to five years. Uh, I'm from Louisville. I've got a lot of family there. My sister and her husband are here to support us, and uh, she's already called dibs on being our office manager for the Louisville location, so we're very excited about that. But, um, guys, I, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, each and every person in this room is, is a friend, and, uh, you know, Mona in my front office, she, you know, when, she, when you when you call into the office, they record where the lead source comes from, whether it's you know Channel 18 or WVOK or, or what have you. And uh, Mona finally grabbed me over the summer and she goes, we need a new category for friends of Jamie because everybody calls and they say, well, I'm a friend of Jamie. So literally about 80% of our lead volume is friends of Jamie. And uh, Mona goes, you can't have that many friends. Uh, Mona, I've proven you wrong today. <laughs> so. Guys, thank you so much for everything. Thanks to Mayor Gray, the council. We greatly appreciate it. Let's go cut a ribbon.